Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Food manufacturer and distributor Grace Kennedy saw a decline in profits in the third quarter ended September. Post-tax earnings for the period was $1.7 billion compared to $2.3 billion for the same period last year. Grace Kennedy's revenue was, however, $2.4 billion higher compared to last year. For the three months, total income amounted to $34.8 billion. Grace Kennedy says its third quarter performance was negatively impacted by rising inflation and inconsistent supply chain, as well as increasing interest rates and distribution costs. Prices in the United States rose at a slower pace than expected during the 12 months up to October. Americans paid 7.7% more for goods. This is compared to inflation of 8.2% in September. Though things are improving, analysts say the Federal Reserve is yet to tame inflation. Meanwhile, data from the U.S. Labor Department show a moderate increase in the number of Americans filing for new claims for unemployment benefits last week. It points to a tight jobs market. The World Bank says increased investments in developing economies geared towards sustainable growth could reduce emissions. The new report says investing an average of 1.4% of GDP annually could reduce emissions in developing countries by as much as 70% by 2050. The World Bank says investment needs are higher in lower income countries, which are more vulnerable to climate risk. The requirements often exceed 5% of GDP. It says these countries need increased finances to manage the impact of climate change and develop along a low carbon path. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.64. $115.64 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $177.62 for the pound, while it's costing an average $157.12 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index lost 3,773 points today, while the junior market index fell by 78 points. Among the winners, JMMB Group 7.25% preference shares, Cygnus Credit Investments US dollar shares, Trans Jamaican Highway US dollar shares, Productive Business Solutions 9.25% US dollar shares, and Carbon Flavors and Fragrances. Decliners were led by 138 Student Living Jamaica, Variable Preference, General Accident Insurance, KLE Group, Epley Carbon Property Fund SCC, and JMMB Group 7.5%. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.